My name is Sean, and this is Sean's Rustic Designs. And today, we're going to be making a flag out of baseball bats. Not all projects have to be complicated or super time consuming. For this, I sourced the pre-cut mini bats from Etsy. And since this was my first time making this bat flag, I needed to do a few mock-ups of the layout to get some of the measurements to start with. This project is pretty simple. My plan is to keep the overall flag as thin as possible while mounting the bats to a quarter inch piece of plywood that will be painted black. And then make a small frame out of some 1x6 ripped down to size. During this process, I will lay out the bats a few different times to double check that my measurements are correct. Ultimately, I want to have eighth inch extra on each side of the bats so that the plywood will sit in the small dados that I will cut into the frame pieces. Next up, I'm going to rip the 1x6s so they are about a quarter inch taller than the thickest part of the bat. Cut the dado in the back of the frame. I take a few passes with the blade set to quarter inch to give myself the proper recess for the plywood backer to sit flush with the frame. After the frame is measured and mitered, it's time to assemble the frame. All I do is put a small bead of glue down and with 3 quarter inch brads, nail the plywood to the frame. After it's assembled, give it a quick once over with the sander to soften the edges and to readjust any of the corners that may not have aligned properly. Since the whole thing is getting painted, the sander and the paint can cover up any crimes committed during the build. Now that it's time to paint everything, for almost all my paint, I like to use satin or flat. Then after everything is dry and assembled, I usually go back and hit everything with a few coats of shellac. After giving the paint about 30 minutes to dry, I mock up the bats again. This time, just to make sure the edges of the union lined up and looked good within the frame. We wake, hear the birds. 
birds and seeds. Now that I'm happy with the way it's looking, I remove all the bats and glue them into place. For this, I'm using some thick CA glue with activator that literally within seconds cures the CA and holds the bats into place. I will have links below for some of the products I'm using if you want to go check them out. I also want to say that if this was in any way structural, I would most definitely use wood glue. But since this is just going to be sitting on the wall of my boy's bathroom, it does not have to be built like a tank. Because let's be honest, the boys could probably find a way to break a tank too. I went back and forth on what to do with the Union. Either try to fit 50 stars in there, or do a few stars just on the centers of the bats. But then I remembered there was a metal baseball that we picked up from Hobby Lobby in the house. So I took that, welded some quarter inch bolts onto the ball, and painted the new Union decoration white. My plan was to drill two holes slightly smaller than the quarter inch bolts and the tight fit would hold the baseball in place. But the challenge was drilling holes into a small curved surface and keeping the holes perfectly lined up to match the studs. So I cut a piece of scrap plywood, laid out the union and drilled the holes in that to act as a guide to keep the drill bit from wandering. And it worked out perfectly.
And that's it. I think this turned out pretty cool. I was able to complete this in one afternoon. And like I said, not all projects have to take days or a ton of special tools. This could easily be modified and completed with just a circular saw and a hammer. So if you decide to give it a shot, let me know in the comments how it went. And if you enjoyed this, hit subscribe, put the bell on, give me a thumbs up, and always, thanks for watching.